Hello everyone, and welcome to a very special, slightly ridiculous interview. I'm Hero with Skills, and today, I'll be interviewing myself. Yes, you heard it right. Thanks to the magic of editing, you get double the Hero with Skills. So, Hero with Skills, tell us, how does it feel to be dropped into this crazy new world, rectangular build? Oh, it's hilarious. Everything here is rectangles. I feel like I'm living in a giant Lego set. I might even start seeing everything as a rectangle in real life. Sounds like a real blocky adventure. What's the first ridiculous thing you're planning to build in this rectangular paradise? Oh, definitely a massive rectangular sheep. Imagine a sheep with all right angles. It'll be so sharp. You'd think it could cut through wool itself. I can't wait to see that. So, any funny moments you've had while building here so far? Well, I tried making a round table. Spoiler alert. It ended up being a rectangular disaster. My Minecraft buddies are still laughing about it. Eep it. Speaking of buddies, are you teaming up with any other rectangular enthusiasts? Oh, definitely. I've already joined forces with some amazing builders here. Together, we're like a Tetris dream team, trying not to get ourselves into any more block-shaped messes. Sounds like a blast. Any final words for your fans, you crazy rectangle builder? Just this. Stay sharp, folks. Rectangular build is going to be an absolute riot. Keep watching, keep laughing, and remember, in this world, it's hip to be square. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. See you next time, and don't forget your protractors. Welcome back here, guys. So I eventually started playing without really making progress report for the starting few hours as I did the basic things like I would like to do, that is to make a mark at a nearby spot in our spawn area. Basically, I collected up the basic gears like, first thing up was the bed and basic stone tools and food that we got from the sheep. Using some coal floating up on top of the hills with which I made campfire which found most useful for cooking instead of wasting fuel on furnace. I then, you know, found Lapis Lazuli here amongst the coal, so mined up the surrounding area of the coal and Lapis to document them, as some of the historic moments of our rectangular world. Then I was off quickly to find a nearby village quickly possible to create a farm, as I don't want to keep the non-veg food diet and get to leaves as quickly as possible. And I accidentally stumbled upon one of the most scenic view of the sunset. The shaders made the view an icing on the cake. It's so gorgeously beautiful, man. I found the village and transferred villagers into the underground bunker and started breeding them as quickly as possible. I also received some iron from the chests and all. Got some saddle and a very fast horse and I will quickly tell you guys the plan ahead. Okay, so the plan is, we have got all the village building over here. I want to clear them out, mostly off camera and get the land cleared so that I have a clear idea and plan on what and how should we go about building around over here with our starter base. So, let's jump right into clearing them. So we just cleared out the village and build space for ourselves. I have left some village houses and built a carrot farm just outside at the yard of the village. I had been fishing as well which just presented me with a lot of good stuff for the start. As you see it seems to be producing carrots.
Thanks for watching the video. Hope to see you next time if you are really here till the end. I don't know how early will the next video come out. Stay tuned, see ya.